Hello children. In the last lesson we have learned how to find surface area of cubes and cuboids. In this lesson we are going to learn how to find surface area of cylinder. Another solid shape, right? So let's look at some of the cylinder. Like this is a nice cylinder. Sort of a small can which we have in our kitchen. And let's say we need to wrap this nicely. Say we have filled it with chocolate. We have our friend's birthday and we have filled this nice can with chocolates and we need to wrap it with a paper from all sides on this side as well as its top and bottom circular sides also and we need to find out what will be the size of paper we'll require so that will require us to find the surface area of this cylinder so that we can wrap it nicely on all the sides and the top and bottom that will be the surface area of the paper we are going to require right so let's start it we know the cylinder has top and bottom as the circular areas with these circular faces. So let's say the radius of this cylinder circular face is R. So let's first find out the area of these two circular faces, top and the bottom. We know the area of circle is pi r square. So the area of this circular face will be pi r square an area of bottom circular face will also be pi r square, right? So the total surface area of just the circular faces would be pi r square plus pi r square, which is 2 pi r square, right? Area of one circular face is pi r square because it's a circle with radius r. Another is also pi r square. So it's pi r square plus pi r square, which is 2 pi r square, where pi is 22 by 7. Now let's try to find the area of this side which is having the height right we know if we unfold the cylinder the 3d shape and we open it you can actually make a cylinder with paper and when you open it it will look like this rectangle this side this face of it the 3d face will become a rectangle and these two circle are the top and the bottom sides of it which we have already calculated the area pi r square and pi r square this side when you unfold, it becomes like a rectangle. Or in other words, if you are having a rectangular paper, you can actually fold it like a cylinder. So it becomes like a cylinder. Or when you unfold it, it becomes a rectangle. So if we can find the area of this rectangle, we can find the surface area of the entire cylinder, which will be some of this and this and this areas. So what will be the area of this rectangle, which came from unfolding this side? Let's say the height of the cylinder is h. So we know the rectangle will have one of the side as h. When you unfold it, this side, the breadth will be, this will become the h. What about this side? Observe it very carefully. When you do this thing on paper, observe this line very carefully how it turns out to be this. And we know what is this. This is the circle's circumference. So this side, when you fold it in form of a cylinder or vice versa from cylinder, you unfold it and make it like a rectangle. The circumference of this circular face, this entire side, circumference is the side. It's like the perimeter of the circle. The circumference becomes this length of this rectangle, the red circle, right? And we know what is the circumference if a circle is of radius r. Remember, the cylinder is represented by radius of its circular face and height. So the radius is r, the circumference we know is 2 pi r. This we have learned in our last lessons, right? Circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. So now we know the rectangular's length and the rectangular's breadth. Length is 2 pi r, which is the circumference of this circle. Look at my cursor, circumference, which is the sides or the boundary of the circle, which is this. And the height is the height of the cylinder when you open it. So the area of this rectangle will be length into breadth, which is 2 pi r into h, which is 2 pi r h. And now we know everything. The surface area of this rectangle is 2 pi r h and we know already these two is pi r square and pi r square. So the total surface area of cylinder will be the sum of the three areas of its circular faces, two circular faces and one of this face which looks like a rectangle when we unfold it.
or make it like a 2D shape. So the total surface area of this cylinder will be pi r square plus pi r square which is 2 pi r square and 2 pi r h which is the area of this rectangle 2 pi r into h and if you take 2 pi r as common we are left with r here and h here so it will the surface area formula becomes 2 pi r into r plus h so children always not just remember the formula think how do we derive this formula that is important so that if you forget the formula in exam also you know how to find that formula right so we learned how to find the surface area of cylinder which is 2 pi r multiplied by r plus h let's take a simple example here is the cylinder given with radius of 14 centimeter this is the radius and height of 30 centimeter and we need to find the surface area so that we can find out what will be the size of paper sheet we are going to require so we know the formula is 2 pi r into r plus h let's replace r with 14 and h with 30 centimeter and pi with 22 by 7 so 2 into pi which is 22 by 7 into r which is 14 centimeter into r plus h which is 14 plus 30 7 and 14 get cancelled so you are left with 2 here so 2 into 22 into 2 into 14 plus 30 is 44 finally when you do this multiplication operation you are going to get 3872 square centimeter because radius and height were in centimeter so what we learned in this lesson is the surface area of cylinder is sum of the area of its two of its circular sides and this face which is 2 pi r bracket r plus h that's all in this lesson children have fun bye bye